What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of my OSCP journey. Now obviously if you've clicked the thumbnail you will know that my OSCP attempt was unsuccessful. There's been a bit of a delay in this video because I've just been unsure about whether or not I should make it because I don't want to get in the heads of people who are also preparing for the exam and make them any more nervous than what you currently are. But more on that a little bit later. So my first real attempt now uh, was a failure, but I'm actually really, really happy with how far I got. So I got to a total of 55 or 60 points if you include the lab report. And just due to the amount of enumeration and research that I had to do, it I'm actually really, really happy with the result. Um, sadly, after about 16 and a half hours or so, I just ran out of steam and just couldn't, um, couldn't focus anymore, just falling asleep at my desk. Uh, so I pretty much called it there and jumped on for half an hour in the morning just to try and uh, scrape over the line with the 10 pointer, but that was unsuccessful. But the advice that I really want to finish this series up on is that stop listening to YouTubers like me, stop going on Discord with the past fail attempt channel, stop going on Reddit and the offsec forums and looking at people who have uh, attempted their exam, whether it was a pass or foul. None of it is helpful. Only you have the unique set of strengths and weaknesses that will make your exam attempt unique to you. Some exam machines may be easy for some, but really difficult for others and vice versa. So it's really just comes down to your own strengths and weaknesses. So don't watch too many people like me talking about their exam. Just keep studying and most importantly, relax. On my first real attempt, I was able to be a lot more relaxed. And as a result, I think that's why I did as well as I did uh, compared to the first sort of quarter attempt, if you call it that, where I was just too nervous the entire time and just making very poor progress. So due to my first sort of quarter attempt where there was technical troubles um, and my first real attempt, I've actually now fallen into the two month lockout category as opposed to one month. While I have emailed Offensive Security about this to see if they can waive the additional month, I even if they come back saying yes, I'm not sure if I would actually take it. And that's just due to my work schedule really, really being full on at the moment. And I can't really make the time. And on top of that, I just want life to go back to a bit more of how it used to be. I can't sustain a 30 to 40 hour study week anymore as there's just too much of life that I'm actually missing out on. That being said, I am planning to have a nice study schedule, which is mixed in with all my hobbies and seeing people and living life again. So hopefully this more relaxed attitude will serve me well. But that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap up this series because I don't think there's anything more of value that I can add. I'm spending a bit more time going back to my YouTube content creation and working on some really uh, good videos, specifically with the Hacking History series, which has got a lot of research and a lot of what I hope high production quality going into it. So stay tuned for that. I'm really, really, really excited to work on that and to release it. So stay tuned. I'm sure you'll love it. And lastly, I just really wanted to thank you everybody for just the amount of support and encouragement you've shown me over the past few months while I've been doing the OSCP. I really, really didn't expect it. I really thought that uh, I'd just be labeled another YouTubing idiot, but the amount of support and well wishing that has been uh, shown in the comments and the increase in subscribers and view time and all that, it's just been really great. So just really, thank you so much. So I will post an update when I finally do get my OSCP certificate and I will be open and transparent about how many attempts it will take me, but just obviously take my experience with however many grains of salt as you wish, because it's my unique experience, not yours. Anyway, stay tuned for my upcoming videos. They're gonna be great. I really hope you enjoy them and thanks for sticking around. I'll catch you in the next one.